Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> so what I want us to do here is be able to change the image of the current user uh, so that we don't just have this, we can have something uh, that shows an actual image. So if we look closely here in, um, what's this? Uh, if I go to the admin section and products, products do have an image, right? And if I click edit, you see that uh, it gives me the opportunity to actually add an image and change this one. So all we need to do is just steal what we've already done here and take it to the profile section. Alrighty then. So let me close all these open files. Okay, so let's go to um, the product edit view, shall we? And where are we? Product edit view, right there. So all we need is to copy this section that has the product image and the display of the image itself. So let me copy all of this up to here because this div ends there but then this image itself so i'll copy everything here copy now this one works on the image column so let's see what column we used for users uh, where is the image okay so it's also the image column which is very convenient and so let's go and cancel this let me go to profile and let me click edit okay so we copy all of that to the profile edit which is where is that edit user uh-huh and right about just above or below this before the username let me paste that right there uh, instead of product image let's say user image right let's see how that looks okay so user image we don't have an image here so no image selected mm -hmm. so if i now browse i can get an image but we need to be able to handle this image at the end of the day when we submit and so to submit is the edit user this is where we are submitting to make sure only admins okay and some things we're dealing with here so right about here after hashing the password and all that uh we should deal with the image here so i'll click just to edit so it doesn't disappear what i want to do is copy from the product edit how does it handle images so first of all this is what we get so if not empty uh what does it say image is equal to image uh, wait, if not empty, ba -ba -ba. okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, post image is equal to files image, okay, why did I do that, I don't remember why I did this, see it's been a while, if not image uh, posted okay it doesn't matter no matter let me copy this we just need to copy what we are doing here since it's tested and proven then we can use it for our users section so we are doing this before the validate so that's cool let me put it right here okay cool mm -hmm. So back to product edit let's see what else are we doing we are checking for the folder let's do that and then we do the image thingy here up to there okay da, 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 da. row image row image file exists so we're we putting post destination okay that looks pretty good so i'm going to copy and right here i will paste this is after uh, the if not empty errors, which is right here. So I will put this right there. All right, then. Now we're using the product. 
what's this the product class here which we don't have access to we can always create it right here i guess so we can use it but what class are we using here we're using the user class we just need the product class to generate a file name now instead of repeating ourselves because what we can do is copy this uh, function as well into the user's uh, class so that we can change this to user instead so that's one thing one way to do it as well so maybe it's less resource in, in, intensive like that instead of us having to create another instance of a class we can simply move this function now the only problem is uh, moving a function is that if for some reason I decide to edit this generate file name function, I'll have to edit it everywhere that I've put it. So that usually isn't ideal. So it's better we have one source for the generate file name uh, uh, function. So I will do this instead. I'll just create an instance of the product class and say new product like so. Even though we're using it for something as simple as that. Okay, so if there's an old file name, we'll delete that. Very good. So just that fixes our problem. So let's see if we can actually have it do something. Mm, not sure here. Okay. Save that okay we have an error very nice you know solving errors is always exciting so let's see what's going on it says cannot access offset of type string on a string hmm so what this tells me is that there's a string that we're trying to we're trying to use a string as if it were an array by giving it an offset so let's see anyway it says edit user with php on line 43 okay so it's line 43 which is right here hmm. so post image name what's happening path info post image if not empty so which means it's not empty but this is not accessible okay what we can do instead is just try to see what's inside the so let's use the show and then let's do die right there so that we don't go any further so I'll refresh and resend the data and this is what we have so we have an array and then this image right there Ah, right even. I'm wondering how this even worked on the other on the other thing. Hmm. Incredible. Yeah, it should work because that post image. Hmm. No, 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 there's something weird going on here. Hmm. Okay, let's go back to edit use. Oh, this is the reason why. So always never forget that for the form to be able to carry images, you have to put the encoding type here. So if I go to product edit and look for, let's see here product edit if i look at the form i have this right here encoding type so it's easy to forget this you should copy that and let's put it in here this one encoding type multiplied form data okay so things will work this time let's refresh apparently not yeah Okay, the reason why they're not working is because I'm refreshing the page, which means I'm resending the old data. So I just need to uh, redo the whole thing again. 
okay and then save and there we go look at that so now my user has a new uh, portrait seems a little bit large so let's change this to maybe 40% or 50% maybe should work fine okay there we go so at least now our user has an image so if I cancel this and come back to okay ah look at that unfortunately uh, edit user doesn't have a console that is good because um, it seems the reference it ref referenced itself this is one thing I forgot here wait a minute let's go back to edit user right at the top here here where we're doing we're dealing with the reference we need to make sure that we don't reference uh, the current page because it's very possible to reference yourself so I just want to make sure that PG is not equal to edit when we are doing this so um, if this is not empty then we're going to do and as well okay and the get variable okay of PG which is page is not equal to wait what is this equal to edit user so both of these have to be correct for this to work okay because now we are stuck in a loop okay profile and there we go so the profile now has an image if I edit let's try and edit this to make sure that we don't have a loop an infinite loop so let me see there we go and if I cancel this time it doesn't work <laughs> we are back to an infinite loop what is going on oh my god uh, okay let's follow this uh, step by step yeah I want to see the reference every time okay so I'm just going to say show reference okay mm -hmm. So let me come back to profile page, click edit, and the reference is profile, right? But now let me, uh, you see where the issue comes in is this. When we save, right, we save uh, the edit. There's a redirect that happens down here, okay? So we redirect to ourself. And because we are redirecting to the same page, the reference is now coming from this same page so we get a problem mm -hmm. what is it doing here let's see here edit user and so let's try this and save uh-huh so you see now uh the reference is this so pg is equal to edit user right so i want to tell it that it shouldn't reference if pg uh, is equal to edit user okay so i want to see when it actually does the saving so show saved okay so once it gets in here I want to know by echoing that so let's go back to profile let's click edit and here you can see uh, PG is equal to profile but it hasn't saved for some reason so why hasn't it saved it should have saved here if not empty saver and PG is not edit user. Oh, PG will always be edit user on this page. Okay, so that's the problem. I'm supposed to look for, I've seen the issue here, sorry about that. 
the edit user should not be part of this reference. So what I'll say is I'll use string string instead. So I'm going to say and string string. So string string is for to find a specific string inside another string. So the haystack is where you are looking and we are looking inside the reference itself. We want to know that it doesn't contain the specific needle and the needle is what you are looking for in a haystack. And so edit user is what we're looking for. I'll cut this here and put it there. Oops, I need to remove, I need to carry the inverted commas as well. So I'll put this here and let's remove the rest of this. Okay, so what I'm saying is that if it's not empty, meaning there's a reference there, and then that reference does not contain edit user. Okay, so let's put a not here to negate this so that it says not contain edit user, then let's do that. Okay, so I think it will work this time. So let's go back to profile and let's click edit and let me hit save. And now if I click cancel, it takes me back. So it's working. Let's try and actually change this image back and hit save. So the image has changed and I can still go back to my profile. Okay, very well. So now at least we can view this as well. So if I go to admin and go to users, at least now this user has an image as you can see, a profile image. All right then, click edit, click back. All right, so everything seems to be working fine. What we need now is to be able to move between these two tabs and then put some graphs here. Once we put those graphs, we are done with this project. Yeah, the whole website will be functional at that point. All right, so let's do the graphs in the next video.